Welcome to Mixed Media Mania YouTube Hub. If you are here, you already know that there are amazing artists, great prizes and lots of inspiration in each stop. By watching my video, subscribing my channel and leaving a comment below till April 27th, you can win amazing prizes from our sponsors that you can see now. I will tell you more during my video, so sit back and enjoy my Mixed Media Art Journal tutorial. Remember to subscribe and comment at each stop to win. And the next stop is super talented Zoe Scarpelli. I started with Finavara Clear Gesso. I primed my art journal page that comes from a denim art journal from Finavara. I took golden high flow paints, one transparent yellow iron oxide and the other one non transparent. I sprayed a lot of water to receive a watercolor effect. Then I took a few sheets of papers from Seven Dot Studio Fortune Teller 6x6 pad and Homegrown 6x6 pad. I cut them into straps. I took some tissue paper from Tim Holtz and made a collage. Soft matte gel medium from Finavar is a perfect medium for that. In the meantime, I will mention our sponsors. They are Seven Dot Studio, All and Create, Amazing Casting Products, Blitzy, Canvas Corp Brands, Carabel Studio, Deco Art, Gel Press, Marabu, Range Ring, Thermoweb, Amwow Studio, and Viva Las Vegas Stamps. By subscribing and leaving a comment under each video, you can win prizes from all of the sponsors. The winners will be chosen randomly. I also decided to give a $30 worth of products prize from 7 Dot Studio. So, if you'd like to win some awesome goodies from me, please like and comment my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All the winners will be announced on Amwow Studio blog on May 4th, so stay tuned. As you can see, I built my page using 7 Dot Studio papers, tissue wrap, and some lace. This is the process that takes some time. To add some color, I used golden high flows again. Now I mixed a 3D gloss gel from Finavar with golden high flow transparent yellow iron oxide. and applied it through the stencil to add some texture to the background. When the gel medium dries, everything is transparent. Okay, now I wanted to add some stamping, so I took sets of clear stamps from 7 Dot Studio cold country and homegrown collections and jet black archival ink. I stamped randomly here and there 
I love to use my fingers. I don't use any acrylic blocks. When I did it, I added iris flower chipboard from Amwa Studio. Now you can see Seven Dots Studio Writer's Block Collection. I used sheets of stickers and die cut elements to create my focal point. I like layering, so I am building some layers using 3D foamies. Oh, and word stickers. I really love them. They are absolutely fabulous. I used the gel medium as glue. It's perfect because it's totally clear when it dries. Now I cut out some elements from Fortune Teller 6x6 pad from 7 Dot Studio. As you can see my art journal page is almost almost finished. And again, word stickers from Seven Dot Studio Writer's Blog Collection. Now I wanted to make the edges a little bit darker, so I used the foam tool with archival ink. I love to add micro beads and glass beads, so I took some gel medium 3D glass gel from Finavor, micro beads and glass beads, and I sprinkled them a little bit around my focal point. In real time, I'll have to wait until it all dries. Now you can see Art Alchemy Gold Rush Metallic Paint from Finavar. It shimmers beautifully. And a little bit of white sharpie drawing at the end. Please don't forget to go to Zoe Scarpelli YouTube channel. Also, please like and subscribe each channel in our YouTube hub. Thank you for watching.